Hi kids, in this session you are going to learn about investment function. What is investment function? First you should know about that one. Investment function, it refers to the investment and interest rate relationship. There is a functional as well as inverse relationship between rate of interest and investment. The investment function slopes always downward alone. Okay, meaning of investment. The term investment means purchase of stocks and shares, dependers, government bonds and equities. This only we are saying as a investment. Investments what they are saying? Purchase of stocks and shares, dependers, government bonds and equities. Okay, but according to Keynes, what he is saying is, it is the financial investment and not real investment. What is saying? It is only the financial investment but not the real investment. This type of investment does not result in an addition to the stock of real capital of the nation. Okay. Actually, Kenneth, what he is saying is, investment includes expenditure on capital investment. Expenditure on the capital that means when we are buying the machines that is the capital investment when we are buying the raw materials that is the capital investment when we are buying the land that also one of the capital investment that only is saying what we are doing the exp that means the expenditure which is includes the capital investment is known as the investment that only ken is given the explanation okay what are the types of investment we will see that Autonomous investment and induced investment. Autonomous investment. Actually, autonomous investment, it is not depending upon any national income. It is not depending upon the national. You also may know so many colleges, they will function autonomically. Okay. That means it is autonomous means it won't come under. That means it won't depend upon the government's money. Government's income uh, that means uh, whether they will investment invest or not like that they won't bother they will follow the government uh, university everything that means uh, they may follow the madras university university like that they may follow that if they are following that university syllabus also they won't depend upon that university uh, what they are following the question paper type like that they won't depend that they will set separate question paper and they will uh, uh, that means conduct the separate uh, examination date also they may announce for separately there and they will do the correction also themselves alone it won't move to the universities okay that is known as that that, that means they won't depend upon any other there okay they will do their work own okay mainly done with the welfare motive and not for making profits and when the autonomous investment they are saying it is depending upon only the that means sorry it is uh, for only for the welfare motive you always it will aim for the welfare motive not for making any profits okay not affected by rise in raw materials or wages of workers and it is essential to development of nation and out of depression for this one they given the example as a construction of road bridges school charitable houses like that okay we will learn about the autonomous investment. It is the expenditure on capital formation which is independent of the change in income, rate of interest or rate of profit. It won't depending upon the change of income, rate of interest and rate of profit. It is doing that means it is independent only they are saying they are not depending upon any change in income or rate of interest it won't affect the rate of interest rate of profit and change in income to the autonomous investment okay the investment is independent of economic activity autonomous investment it is income inelastic the volume of autonomous investment is the same at all levels through this graph itself you may know investment is uh, given in the y axis and the x axis represent the income the autonomous investment it is only in the straight line that means there is no change in the autonomous investment okay it is stable always there 
in the times of economic depression also the government try to boost the autonomous investment alone the autonomous investment it is one of the key concepts in welfare economics okay most, most probably the autonomous investment government makes autonomous investment for what purpose means because of the welfare consideration alone next you are going to learn about the induced investment it is the expenditure on fixed assets and stocks which are required when level of income and demand in an economy goes up when the level of income and the demand it both when it goes up that time we require the induced investment okay actually what the induced investment they are saying what the expenditure we are doing on the fixed assets and stocks that is we are saying as a induced investment induced investment is profit motivated alone it is related to the change of national income the relationship between the national income and induced investment is always positive decreases in national income leads to decrease in induced investment and that increase in the national income it leads to the increase in the induced investment through the graph you may know that one investment given here this one is the gross national product okay gross national product means what is the national income only we are saying as a gross national product when the national income it increases the investment also it increases the investment also it increases if it is decreases means definitely the investment that means the gnp if it is decrease means investment also it will decrease okay now you are going to learn about the uh, that means the difference between the autonomous and induced autonomous already i told that one is independent it is not dependent upon anything induced one is a planned one before itself we are planning that one autonomous investment is the income it is inelastic but in induced investment income is elastic autonomous always it thinks about the welfare but induced it always that motive for them the motive only the profit alone okay now we will learn about the determinants of investment function the classical economists they believed that investment depended exclusively on rate of interest in reality investment decision depends on a number of factors already you know what are the number of factors isn't it they given here that means that one is a factor of production with that four things we studied land labor capital and organization that one is the what is that one factors of production here they given for the income that is the investment factors what are the investment factors only they given what are the investment factor 12 things they given here rate of interest level of uncertainty political environment rate of growth of population according to the population also the investment it will differ there stock of capital goods necessity of new products level of income of investors inventions and innovations inventions new things what we are in, uh, inventing there innovation in that one what the new type we are giving innovatively that means the invention is the at that moment alone you are finding some product that means you are creating some product there okay but innovation is the changes in that one that in we are saying as a innovation for example television we may say television at first when it was discovered that is we are, that on we are saying as a invention but it is that model it is changed nowadays isn't it that is called as a innovations consumer demand according to the demand consumer demand also the investment it will differ policy of the state availability of capital how much capital you are having in your hand liquid assets of the investors okay now kenis what is said that we will learn that kenis contended that business expectations and profits are more important in deciding investment what is said there always the profits expectation and profits are more important in deciding the investment and also he pointed out the investment depends on marginal efficiency of capital investment always depend us uh, depends upon what the marginal efficiency of capital how much efficiency we are having in the capital in the marginal level that means the additional level 
how much uh, capital we can efficiently we can able to invest there according to that also it will differ okay private investment is an increase in the capital stock such as buying a factory or machine the marginal efficiency of capital states the rate of return on an investment project what the what we are going to get as a return okay what we are going to get as a return according to that alone the marginal efficiency of capital we may say that and it refers to the annual percentage yield earned by the last additional unit of capital if the marginal efficiency of capital is 5 percentage and interest rate is 4 percentage then it is worth borrowing at 4 percentage what they are saying m e c okay m e c is 5 percentage interest rate also is 4 percentage worth borrowing is 4 percentage that means how much we are expecting there we are we are expected increase in output also 5 percentage okay interest also we how much we are expecting that it should be increased by 5 percentage thank you children